Hey guys, it's Alicia Handles it, and I'm back with the video and it's time for cutting class guys gather up gather up gather around Get out your shears get your mannequins and let's go because it's time to cut a short mushroom bob This is all sewed on. It's a full handmade wig I colored it nice and jet black and I'm just going to show you guys how we go about cutting, well, how I go about cutting this style. I actually went to hair school. I actually took cutting classes while I was in school. So this is not something I'm just making up as I go along. Um, most of it is what I came up with over the years, adding to the technique, making it easier, but still, you know, having what I want. But um, I'm just going to show you guys what I do to do the mushroom cut bob, shortcut mushroom. Yeah, whatever it's called. So gather up, gather up, guys. Here we go. I just need you guys to pay attention. And I'm only going to talk when I feel like I need to let you guys know something. All right, enough talking. Let's go. That's the closing that we did yesterday in the previous video. Here we go. This is the back of my client. I'm going to turn a little bit for you guys. So as you guys can see, where the short hair begins. I want to cut my mushroom about to there, but it's going to be angled. It's going to be blended in. It's not going to be a blunt cut straight across. We don't want to do that, right? So, the best thing that ever came out, guys, is this thing right here. So, most of you guys cannot mess up if you did not go to cutting school, if you didn't take any cutting classes, or if you didn't go to hair school. So, let's get started. But, Section out the back. And I start in the middle. In the back. I never start at the front, never start at the sides, none of those places. So I'm going to go in with my razor. And always just stay in the same spot. You end up in the same spot. You can go up a little. But always let the razor end up in the same spot. And what I do next is I comb this over. I don't just go over and cut. I bring this over the right side to the middle. Whatever extras is there. I cut. Then I move it back over. I comb this side over to the middle. And then I cut. I'll take this out at the side. This is the front of the client, right there. So we take this part out and make sure you have enough from the top and some from the back. Well, this is gonna be your guideline from the back. So when you're cutting, when you're cutting, you always have a guideline. So when we get to this side, Right here is our guideline. So our cut is going to come over to here, but I'll show you that when we get there. So what you do is don't bring, don't do this. Don't have the whole side down and then cut. 
always take it out from the top. So if you even make any mistakes, you always have hair to cover that mistake, but we're not making mistakes here. So like I said before, you have a guideline, which is over here. That's your guideline. So that comes to here. So we're going to cut this side. So what I do is comb that that way towards my guideline. Now, I just want you guys to watch because that's how I learned. And you guys could always just re-watch the video, go back, see what's going on, and take it from there. Like I said, bring it over to your guideline. Don't cut in the exact area where the hair is. Always bring it over to your guideline. Over to my guideline. All right, we're going to take this part off. Okay, guys. So this is the front facing you guys, okay? So this is the side. So what I'm gonna do is, you know how the mushroom cut is like right there? So guys, do not cut down, don't comb the hair down and cut straight across. What I do is section the hair, no biggie, no big sectioning. But this is how you create your layers to where you know that if the wind blows in your hair, everything, there's not going to be a long piece over there and a short piece over here. Everything will always coincide because you've brought the hair all around to the guideline, wherever it is, and evened it up. So wherever you move the hair, it will always be like a reiki look, what they call it, layers, layery right so even if the wind blows you don't have to worry about your hair getting out of place because even when the wind blows it's even nicer right so you take the front and you bring it to the back side of where the guideline is and you cut And it doesn't all happen at once, but you know, you got a, a real haircut doesn't happen in 10 minutes, right? So we comb that down. And the reason why we bring this over is because we don't want too many layers up here, right? So you bring this front piece all the way to the back as far as you can to the guideline and cut in. see so this is the air or this is where the sideburn would be okay comb the other side to the back to the guideline guideline
never cut in the area where the hair is going to fall. Always pull it back to the guideline. And that doesn't say to do, you're going to follow a guideline all the way through the cut. But most of the cut, it's a guide. You want to kind of have a guideline because you, like I said, when the wind blows or anything, you want everything to end up in the same place. So you see, guys, how this is the front for you guys right here is kind of heavy. So what I'm going to do is comb it down, but forward. Hair is supposed to always be combed forward. And then I look at it. And now I just work my wonder. And you guys just watch how I get this mushroom cut. This is the sideburn. Right there. Now this piece is coming all the way from the front. See as I go around, it all lines up. And you don't lose the fullness of the front. Now what I'm really wondering if I should just cut the bang area on the mannequin. And I think that's what I might do, guys, so I can have an idea of where the forehead is and all that stuff. Because I don't want to guess because a mushroom cut is kind of a little bit blunt in the front, although it's wispy. So I'm going to switch to the mannequin, guys, and I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, so I wouldn't go in too short in the front because I don't know what kind of client is getting it. So I wouldn't do it blunt. I would just leave it wispy like this in the front. The sides are good. I wouldn't cut down the sideburns right now because I don't know who would want it. Yeah, but basically... This is what's going on, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I went under and took out the length instead of taking out all the length on top. So you still have your fullness. It's layered, and it's still full, but it's not too much heaviness on your face, right? I keep dropping my shears, and I keep stopping the camera, guys, to pick it up. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is just clean it up a little bit, snip, snip it up, clean it up, and I'll show you guys the finished look of the cut, but we're going to style after this. So now what I would do, if this was a client, I would really just go in tight with my um, razor, but it's not, so I don't want to go in too much. So what I'll just do is just take off a little down here, even it up. Just like that. And I'll just go in just a little bit to tighten it up in here. Because for the most part, every client always likes it tight right in here. And to be honest, I usually don't do this part with my shears at first. I go in with my... I mean, with my razor, I go in with my shears first, and then I'll clean it up with my razor, but, oh well, both works, I guess. But this is sewed in, so I don't want to go in too deep, but you see where everything is, like, lined up, lined up. All the way around till we get to the front. And the heaviness is just lovely right there. So what I'll do is go in, bring it over. You see that extraness over there? I'll just go take it out. But I wouldn't take it out from the front. I'll bring it over, clean it up. From way on the other side, if you guys see what I just did. So... You have your mushroom bob cut. And this is more of a wispier one, but they do have a blunter one. But this is kind of, it will you'll see the finished product, guys. Because I'm still going to style it for you guys. And I'm just cleaning up the ends. I'm not touching the the length or anything. I'm just cleaning it up. And I never go in blind. I always go in with my shears. Just cleaning it up. See that, guys? You do not have to go in and cut like that. Horizontal, I should say. Go in vertically a lot. So we're not touching the length of the hair. We're just cleaning up. So this is the guideline. The guideline, I can actually see it. So I'm just cleaning it up.
see that? And I'll bring it over here, do the same. And I always go back in and clean up a cut once it's dry. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now, we're going to mold her a little bit. And you guys will see the finish. But isn't she lovely, guys? Isn't she just lovely? That jet black is everything. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she one? 